Hey guys, um, sorry about the sore throat if I sound like I've been smoking because I don't smoke at all. I just, I just have a bad sore throat right now. Um, if some of you heard in my, um, my previous videos, um, on Wednesday, at one o'clock at night, my best friend, my partner in crime, my my sister passed away and went to paradise with our Lord and Savior. Sorry. I did not want to make this video, but this was going to be this is going to be a tough one. I that's the reason why I haven't been recording over the past few weeks is because she has been very sick and because of all of her chromes and in her colostomy bag, she was losing weight. She looked like a skeleton and. She had a heart attack. She was in ICU for a week. And then she came back home feeling a lot better eating like she normally, she doesn't usually eat, but when she came back home from that heart attack, she started to eat very good again, but, but then she started to feel like she was gonna have another heart attack and she did. This time it was bad. She didn't have blood pressure. She she did have a pulse, and they done CPR on her, and, and that's when they pulled the plug. know why God took her from me but she's not suffering anymore and she changed her address and she's in paradise now I don't know why this happened She was, she was sweet. She was an innocent woman. She was so kind. And she had a bright future ahead of her, but her body just shut down on her because she tried so hard to fight. She just tried so hard to fight to stay alive. And I held her hand while she died. Me and my mom and dad both did. <laughs> One of the greatest sister. She's one of my. I, I'm sorry. I just. She was the best sister, I could ever ask for. And I'm glad I got to spend. Twenty four years with, well, not twenty four years, but I'm glad I got to spend, twenty one years with her as. As a brother. I tried so hard to be a good brother to her. She was my best friend. We used to watch Spongebob together all the time. We played the original Star Wars Battlefront that came out on the original Xbox and... I 
how we can't do that anymore since she's gone. <laughs> God had other plans for her. He wanted her to be with him. And I've been so mad at him for taking my my sister because we made a promise that we would never leave each other. I'm trying to keep it together by not crying. I'm trying not to cry because I've been crying so much like a baby. I've been crying so much. I've just, I'm just done crying. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being sad. I just got to remember that she's not in pain anymore. And she's at peace. And she's resting now. <laughs> when she was about to take her last breath I told her that me and mom and daddy and the rest of the family I told her we were going to be okay and I told her just rest now we'll be fine just rest and that was it. Sorry, my mucus is just, I'm, I'm sicker than a dog right now. It's because of the allergies and all that, but, but we had the funeral last Thursday. She was cremated. I'm getting a dog tag of her fingerprints on my dog, she, I'm getting a dog tag with, with her fingerprints on it. I'm gonna put it around my neck. So she, so that way she will be a part of me. She, she always wanted to be a therapist. She always wanted to help other people and everything. She, that's just who she was, she wanted to help people and help people like me with autism and diabetes and I just remember that every time I was not responsible for my blood sugar my diabetes she would always get on to me and yell at me and tell me I need you with me but I wanted her with me too and I'm gonna miss her getting on to me I'm gonna miss her love and her hugs. I'm gonna miss her kisses and hell, I'll even miss the fights that we had <laughs> because that's just what brothers and sisters do. <laughs> but <clears throat> I just don't know what else to say. But I just. If she can hear me, I just, sissy, I love you so much. And you don't know how much I'll miss you. I'm not going to cry. I can't. I got to be strong for her. I just wanted to make this video for her. And, and, and listen, I have been crying, but the reason why you don't see tears in my eyes for is because all my tears are gone because of how much I cried. That's how bad it's been. That's how much I cried. I, I Even when I cry right now, I can't shed a tear because I've just been crying too much right now for the past week too. It just, <laughs> but, and we're going to celebrate her life back at my home state. Me and Sissy were born and raised in Seymour, Indiana, and we moved down here to the great state of Texas. 
because of my dad's job transfer to Toyota. We had no choice but to move down here in Texas and and when she died, there's just nothing for us here in Texas anymore. And on September 17th, we're flying back home to me and Sissy's home state of Indiana. We're going to celebrate her life there at my great grandma Mary's farm. And we're going to spread half her ashes on her on grandma Mary's farm. And we're going to celebrate her life there. And once we're done celebrating her life, we're coming back to Texas. We're going to sell our house here. We're going to pack everything. We're going to try to, and me and my parents, I'm going to try to move closer to our family to Tennessee because um, me and my parents were to live in the border area of Tennessee and Alabama because my because my mom's side of the family lives in Alabama and me and my parents are going to live very very close to them so we're not going to be far away from our family in Alabama we're going to be on the border of Tennessee and Alabama so we can be close to them because me and my parents need our family right now I need my nanny and pappy I need my my nanny and pappy live in Indiana but I'm still going to visit them every once in a while I'm not going to be close to them but I'm going to be close to my mama I'm going to be close to my mama's side of the family in Alabama I'm going to see my family in Alabama all the time now I want to spend more time with them we're going to be and we're going to have our laughs and our sad moments about sissy but me and my family we've been going through a tough time right now ever since sissy died but we'll get through it the sadness is never going to go away my heart is always going to be broken since she's not here with us anymore but we're going to move on it's just not going to be the same around here in the Carter family and the Harbin family without my sister not being in a part of our lives anymore. But soon we're going to get out of Texas in a year or so. We're going to pack all of our stuff, move to the border of Tennessee and Alabama to be closer to my mama's family. And... Yeah, there's just nothing for us here anymore in Texas ever since Sissy died. We lived in Texas for six years. We left, we, we, we moved to Texas in 2016. We left uh, five days after my 16th birthday. And I was still living in Indiana, me and Sissy both. And when Sissy got sick, she wanted to come back home to Indiana because that's what me or her were born and raised at our whole lives. And she never got the opportunity to go back home when she died here. So we're going to spread her ashes at my great grandma Mary's farm in Indiana. And we're going to celebrate her life. But anyways. That's it about what happened. And the next gaming video I'm going to make. This is going to be for Sissy. Me and uh, my Xbox friends are going to make a YouTube video of all of us playing all the women in Marvel's Avengers. I'm going to play as Jane Foster. My other Xbox friends are going to play as Black Widow, Miss Marvel, and Kate Bishop. And we're going to fight Monica Rappuccini, the scientist supreme boss fight. Because my sister, she was a big women supporter. She loved to support women. And her favorite superhero was Wonder Woman. And the reason why Sissy 
loved Wonder Woman so much for is because of who Wonder Woman was. She was powerful, she was strong, she was brave, and she loved everyone unconditionally. And Wonder Woman, who accept who you were, even if you were gay, bi, trans, or any race or anything, she did. She would always love you for who you were. And she was worthy, wise, and and very beautiful too. And Sissy was just happy that she got to see a couple of female superhero movies while she was still alive because she got to watch Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel, and, and that was about it. <clears throat> but, but it's not every day you get to see women play as superheroes because for decades it's always been the men playing as superheroes. But now, in the 21st century now, today, the women are finally getting what they want. They're finally going to be in female superhero movies and TV shows on both Marvel and the DC Universe. And it's like Ayan Grande said, and this is one of Sissy's favorite speeches that Ayan Grande said to all her fans. She loves men, but she loves women. It's not about the women being above men. It's about the women being equal to men. And that's what Sissy wanted too. She wanted women to be equal to men. And that's why I'm going to make this video of me and my Xbox friends playing all the women in Marvel's Avengers, the video game. So, yeah, in, um, in the next video, you want to see me and my Xbox friends play as Jane Foster, Black Will, Miss Marvel, and Kate Bishop. And we're going to fight Monica Rappuccini, the scientist supreme female boss fight. And I'm doing this video in an honor of Sissy. And also, that's what she would have wanted me to do. She wanted me to continue my YouTube channel and um, move on. Mom never wanted to forget her because I loved her so much. And that's why I'm making this video for her because she would want me to keep on with my YouTube channel. She would want me to entertain all of you guys that subscribe to my channel and support me. She wanted me to help you how to feel boss fighting a mission because she just wanted me to just do that and move on because she always supported my channel. She supported everyone. But I want you guys to promise me something. If you have a brother or a sister or a cousin or a best friend or I just want you to say treasure each moment with your brothers, your sisters, your friends and your family because life's too short. But anyways, I'm getting off here now. Hope all of you have a B E A beautiful day. And stay safe too. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.